Several months back, I produced a detailed video of AI generative fill. I was demonstrating how we can utilize AI generative fill for static footage. You can check it out under the description link. But in this video, I'm going to show you how can we use AI generative fill for a moving video clip. So let's get started. So first import and add your footage to the Premiere Pro timeline. Here I am using aerial view footage. Now find a perfect frame, which is visible to the whole video clip. In my case, this frame is perfect. Now click on the M button on your keyboard to add a marker here. Then click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Select the format to PNG. Browse the location where you want to save it. And remember to enable import into project. Now just click on OK. Move to the project window, and here it is. Drag the snapshot on your timeline. Expand the snapshot layer till the end of your footage. Now select the snapshot layer, and right click on your mouse. Then click on edit in Photoshop. So it will open your image in the Photoshop application. Inside the Photoshop, take the rectangular mark tool, and select the area where you want to add the object. Then click on generative fill. Then type a prompt here, I want to add a old dome house. Now click on generate. And it will take a few moments to generate similar images. As you can see, it gives us three different images. Let's check them. If you are not happy with these results, again click on generate. And it will generate more similar results. I think this one looks perfect. Now click on the I button to disable the visibility of the background. Then take the brush tool and erase your object areas just like that to add some feather on it. Now just export your image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Set the format as PNG and just click on Export. Find the location where you save the snapshot image and then just replace the snapshot layer. Then going back to the Premiere Pro. As you can see, our generated object is here. But it's just a still frame here. That's why it's not moving with the video. So now we need to track it to the video layer. To properly track it, we'll need to use After Effects. So select all the layers, and right click on your mouse, and click on Replace with After Effect Composition. Select the project file location. And it will open your project in After Effects. Inside the After Effects, disable the generated image layer by clicking on this I button. Then select the bottom layer, and go to Window. Select the Tracker option. Inside the Tracker window, click on Track Camera. Move to the Effect Controls tab, expand the Advanced options, and just enable Detailed Analysis. And that's going to ensure that we have lot more detail and points. It will take some time to analyzing the full video clip. As you can see, it gives us lots of little point of details. Please select a few tracking points where you would like to track the generated object. Then right click on your mouse, and click on set ground plane and origin. Again right click on your mouse, and click on create null in camera. It will create a track null and 3D tracker camera layer to the timeline. Now visible the generated image layer. And move the time indicator to the marker. Now select the generated image layer, and make this layer as 3D. Then link it to the track null layer. Now open position, by clicking on P button on your keyboard. And set all the position level to 0. Again select the layer, an open scale by clicking S button. Now increase the scale level. And drag the object to the selected areas. As you can see, the object is perfectly adjusted on the track selected areas. Now press Ctrl plus S to save this. Back to the Premiere Pro, and we need to render it to see the better preview. Select in and out point, and click on enter button to render it. As you can see, the generated object is perfectly matched with the video clip. So that's all for today. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.